Yes, I. <laughs> Welcome back to the shed here, my little den, um, where all the magic happens. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd do things differently uh, with the new release. Um, just because, uh, I, you know, I kind of got sick of the Adam getting. I just got, I got fed up with the old uh, hamster wheel of having to kind of release stuff and make physical uh, and the time constraints that that caused. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just I'll put it out digitally without telling anybody. I won't send any promo copies. I'm not going to do any of the traditional promo. And, uh, and just drop it on everybody at the same time. It's like everybody gets to listen to it at once. Which is, well, in fact, there we go. Let me just, let me just make it live first. There we go. Editing Sweet Jesus. Right, there we go. Publish. Hang on, let's have a look. Publish. Congrats. Sweet Jesus. It's now published. There, there. there you go. It's live. And you can hear it in the background. So I thought, I'll, uh, I'll play the album. I'll play the full album, you know, because everybody's like the Instagram clips. I'll play the full album in the shed uh, as a preview and um, and talk about it, you know, and talk to people about what the vibe is um, these days. Uh, when I get my mouse working. So, yeah, I should start at the top. This is like the 10th track in. There we go. As good as gold. Let's get cracking. There we are. Bit of the old... So yeah, a lot of playing on this one, as you can see here, right there, which was a conscious reading, uh, decision, I should say, it was a conscious decision because uh, I'd been inspired by a couple of things over Christmas, a couple of players, Mike Rebelay was one that Adam shared with me, uh, doing his little kind of one minute impromptu, like off the cuff tunes just seemed like tons of fun and then um, the Manso Brown album was just like knocked me out just mind bender uh, 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 and so I got I got all my instruments back out again um, which had gathered dust really a bit of neglect uh, and, and it tried to improve my playing especially my drumming guitar playing as well and just and, and being as organic as possible really so um anyway I'll, i'm not going to talk all night you know i'll just i'll let the music do the talk but yeah i'll get the browser up so if anybody like has a natter bit of a zeppelin vibe going on there Which is no surprise really because they were a massive influence on me when I was about 12. Anyway, cheers to everybody. Bit of slide on that green one at the back there, which came off the back of doing some slide work with uh, Russ for that hometown story thing. Never played slide before. Thanks, Dan. And uh, never really played slide before, so it was a bit of a learning curve. I like that, I like that. There's some flute on this album. There was a learning curve. Never been near it this uh, until this year. So, um, so yeah, there's a pulling on my heritage, you know, on the stuff that I kind of grew up with. A bit proggy, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, Storal, I suppose. I don't know why I'm even trying to describe it. So this is called As Good As Gold, this track, which is what my nanny used to say to people. Well behaved. It's as good as gold. Mel 
the tron strings for the producer types there, everybody knows. It's that classic string that you had on all the cafe from Beals to Zeppelin. It's, it's an interesting machine, that's just a cafe sampler. For those uninitiated, it's a kind of uh, well, turn it down a bit. It's, it's, it's actually a rack of tape slices, and when you press a key, it plays like eight seconds of audio. So it was like a really early sampler, but it just has this mad kind of rich texture to the strings. I don't know why. Maybe they're a bit out of tune with each other. I suppose that's like a good thing. You are as good as gold, Danny Whitehead. So that was the first track. There's 12 tracks. Um, yeah, you can. It's a pound each, or six for half. No, oh, yeah, six quid for 12. So it's half price. Half price for all 12. Uh, and and I've been secretive about this release, but I've also the release is secretive as well. You can only listen to one tune when you go to Bandcamp, and it's not getting released anywhere but Bandcamp. It's like it's a Bandcamp exclusive. It'll get rolled out on the other platforms in a month or so, whatever. But I'm just trying. Again, I'm just trying different things. That's what this video is. It's like announce your fucking LP by your vid. Uh, a live vid is a bit twatty, but you know you got to move with the times, haven't you? So. Uh, yeah, I digress. Track two is um, is currently playing uh, of the twelve, and it is called uh, it's French Chauffeur de Camion. Uh, I have to pull a face when I say French because I <laughs> did it for eight years, but I still can't speak it. So it was what my dad was. My dad was a lorry driver, a transcontinental lorry driver, a chauffeur de camion. So it's dedicated to my dad, this. It kind of reminds me of travelling through France, uh, 12 foot in the air, in a Volvo F10. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the audio is like. Anybody want to care to report on if it's loud enough? Arch. We're gonna drink. Watch a song, say, brother. Shout out to Rusty for the Freelands as well from Soma. Let's see you, Rusty. Oh, the artwork on the album. Thank you, Alex Hyde, the lovely Alex Hyde, for providing that outrageously quality photo manipulation. Uh, they give me pure BG. Um, that, so that's been in the, in the in the pending tray for two years as well. So thanks for that, Alex. Sorry, I'm reading. I can't, I can't speak and read, so... 
Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm Vince, I'm same. I like a running order, but that's me. I'm old school. People just make playlists on Spotify now. You, you're not going to be able to make a playlist with this. It's hidden. You've got to buy it to listen to it. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, the Coven Spiel! How could I forget the Coven Spiel? That's all over it. I got carried away with that. Seriously. Why oh, you're progging? Prog there. I, I, I make no apologies. I make no apologies. Right, so track three, um, Samba School. This is the one. It was like a weird time signature that I, I nicked off an air to uh, tuition um, video. Samba Waltz. And uh, was from but uh, Tom Harland plays lead guitar on this one it was like a jazz prodigy from Ferriby of all places so here's to Tom thank you for this brother You know, the, the, and the best example is, say, a little prayer, Aretha Franklin. Like, it wasn't until I tried to program that into a drum machine that it was like, what's that half bar doing there? So it's just brilliantly written because she didn't sound awkward, you know. So hopefully, you know, if you don't mention it, it isn't something that people notice, you know, it's just a nice song. Diego, I'd love it if Chris was still making sketches. Delphi loves my hat. <laughs> Delphi can have my hat, Adam. <laughs> Give us a kiss, Delph. Love it. Nice. Oh, lovely. Nice, James. That's lovely, man. Yes. Cheers, Darren. Appreciate that, man. I keep thinking it's too quiet and you can't hear it. I've got no concept of the balance. Or, or if I'm just being drowned out, which is maybe a good thing. Ramble tune ratio is good, cheers. Thanks, Nick. Alright, Gilly. How's it going, cuz? 
Thanks you, appreciate that man. All props, gratefully received. No, no right, Hugh, sorry, it's not coming out on record, man. Uh, I, I should explain this. Um, I want to put my music out and to make physical, just, it, it puts four months into a release. I basically, I finished this album last night and it's getting released today. I can carry on doing that. I can get stuff out to market. I don't make any money from physical. My loft's just full of it clogging me house up. Uh, it's a vanity publishing gig really with physical for me because I sell such small numbers. It'd be alright if I was selling thousands but I'm not, I'm selling hundreds so... In the future though, I mean there's a crowdfunding thing that's starting up on Bandcamp for vinyl. Uh, that's going to be best for me. I think, you know, if, if people want it, if people want it pressing up then I'll get some crowdfunding model on Bandcamp when they get that and running and we'll see you know but for me personally it's just it's out the picture now i'm not making anything anymore it's so hard getting music to market you know uh so so i'm gonna just stick to digital for now and just and then but a lot of it you know blunderbuss really instead of it being 12 songs a year it'll be more like twice three times that top vibes adam uh, this which one's this one this oh this one this is lance lance Procedo, this one adam um Right, I should explain to all my friends, because uh, nobody, I've, I, I ain't, I ain't sent a couple to friends, right? Because if I had to pick one, I had to do everybody, and I, didn't, I wanted everybody to hear it tonight. Everyone. Everybody hears it at exactly the same time. There ain't a single journalist. Nobody, nobody's heard it, right? So, so I apologise to all my friends, who I always usually furnish with stuff before it comes out. Tomorrow, first thing, it's download links of GoGo -Go for everybody, and there'll be Bandcamp links. I can't do them until I've published it, right? So, but there'll be download links from Bandcamp, the free ones that I give gratis, and then you can pick your format. So, again, apologies, brothers and sisters, that usually get the uh, the previews. So yeah, it's called Lance Brasado, this one, which is somebody who always turns up to a pub without any money. There's a name for that person. Not that I think it'll get wide usage. Diego, uh, again, it's just mad expensive and time consuming, you know, and, uh, and gets in the way of life. It's that keyboard, Jim, it's this. That's my Augustus Pablo alike. Yeah, it makes it, it's a good it's a good substitute for a melodica for sure. So we're into that's track four. Um, just coming to a close. Um, another three minute one. Try to keep some of them, you know, uh, decent. Uh, length. Uh, this one's called Feline Plastique, uh, which is uh, oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit of an epic. This one, I got a bit carried away. Um, I should let the music talk for a bit. Really. Oh, that was the acoustic I bought off Paul Sarrell. Thanks, Paul. There it is in the corner. That one. It's been excellent. Loved it. There's plenty of common spiel on this. I think I showed the very end of this on Insta, the very, very, very last kind of code section, which didn't really have didn't really bear any much. I'm sure no. I've listened.
Mediterranean tonic and grapefruit bitters. Get the grapefruit bitters in your gin, man. Never look back. More of this.
scattered to the four winds next, um, which is a euphemism for uh, either being dead or drunk, I think. Um, more slide. It'll be on Apple Music in about six weeks, Geneva. I'm gonna, it's, it's Bandcamp, Bandcamp, Bandcamp for like five, six weeks until it gets on the other platforms. You got to come to me to get it. Thanks, Dale. God bless you, sir.
and I apologise, I'm missing loads of these comments. Ross, brother, how are you, sir? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see him flying up on my phone, but when I look on my browser, it's like, oh, mate. And I'd like to respond to everyone, I feel a twat for missing it. to me on feed came back on me and it was the, yeah hideous pandemonium type action going on but that's you know it's all laugh. Uh, so the groom stripped bare by his suitor this one let's get rid of that message um, which was a quote I, I found uh, out of a John Lennon biography and it was referring to Yoko Ono making him go and do primal screen therapy which apparently was good for him I don't know but, you know, lines jump out, and you go, ooh, title, and it goes into the shortlist. And then it fits somewhat, but, you know, it, it, there's no rhyme or reason to it, to be honest. I'm going to have a short break. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. So, uh, yeah, that was the groom strip bear by his suitor. Uh, next track, The Unvarnished Truth, which I think was the first... Yeah, it was. It was the first clip I shared from this um, this new session where I was re recording more and 
at Recording More Live playing, uh, it, and this is the first clip I shared because I won't I won't show what I was doing. Really, I thought, oh, is it? Am I just going to alienate people if I kind of get go too far over into the, the guitars? Really, I mean, there's guitars all over this album, you know, and uh, and this and this has got that kind of like you know the Pixies kind of super quiet and then in your face got a bit of that about it well I got a lot about it this one and uh but I shared the clip and everybody was loving it so I thought well yeah off off we go it's them things that kind of little little things can paddle you on the right path like I say you know it was uh it was a few other things that seeded it but you got to kind of get pushed along you need you need coercing on that journey Jimmy Page, John McGeoch, Bill Nelson, Jimmy Page, Nelson McGeoch. That's what made maybe my top three. Uh, when I was 15, I was starting to play guitar. It was like they're, they're, they're the ones I learned from. I learned by ear. I never had a lesson in my life. That's why I'm trying to learn now. Weirdly enough, it was like, get your theory together, Steve. Now you're a pensioner. That is a Queen of the Hills, Russ. Well, spotted. well, it's 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 a modified Queen of the Hills without the Darjeeling tea liqueur, which should be in there. Peach pot pipe forever, Alex. Ooh, ghostly. his fingers, connection available. There we go. I'm going to go and 
charge this only about halfway anyway so I'm just gonna go and get extra. Hiding in the kitchen, Russ. Just hiding in the kitchen. Do you know I most probably I should ease off because I won't be able to talk most probably in half an hour. Sorry if it's dropping out for everybody. This the Wi-Fi is shit. Because I'm right at the bottom of the garden. I'd get the there's the pan. Up. So you know, I'm crossing my fingers with the signal sometimes, but a lot of the time. Space on the back of the chair, Vinny. Genie, see, that's what I, I, I'm a pauper musician, and you're, well, must be, I wouldn't say he was an affluent nurse. Well, Bone, yeah, mate, it's time. The bikes can be out for the Bone. Yeah, I'm 
starting to get a little bit tipsy, Richard. How was Mr. Harris anyway? Good to see that you're uh, alive and kicking, brother. Exclusive, so I thought I could I could muffle a bit. Hat hair. I can waffle a bit and um and pad it out. But I you know I ain't really got a lot more to talk about. Music is its own language. Thanks, Salvador, appreciate that brother. Oscar again. Just a layer off, Geneva. Two hours, and I was watching, like you know, Jordan and what's his face, uh, the tattooed Brad Rodman, Dennis Rodman. I like Chicago a lot. Great city. Props to Cheese and the Mind Food Crew. Yeah, well, what we did actually, when we went to Chicago, that 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 EP that we did, the the psycho, props to Dave Psycho, the drummer, the Psycho Motion EP that we did. Um, 
I didn't want to take any. I didn't want to take anything with us. I wanted to do it all in Chicago. We had ten days booked there. We had a drum session booked with Dave Psycho um, for, for the first, first, first or second night, and then we had a dictaphone, like little handheld, you know, monophonic shit. That was it. We was, and we walked around Chicago just recording with this little dictaphone. Um, and then went back to Cheesy's, the, the studio that Cheese had sorted out, and um, and proceeded to make the EP. Just sliced it all together, you know. It was like proper, like, you know, as we, you know, we were masters of montage. <laughs> Pardon me, yeah. So just, you know, a cut and paste frenzy. Pardon me. Three feel the tune. Never left your box. That's lovely to know. It's not. It's nice. That it still has a resonance with people, you know. You... Plenty of people just get swept under the carpet, don't they? Not that we were ever like on top of the carpet. <laughs> but yeah. I still can't see these comments. I must have. I, I, I'm sorry, man. Go away. Ambient. Do it all sections. You know, we can get some sound. There we go. Is that any better? I've switched the Wi-Fi off. I'm just going on 4G sometimes. It's a better signal. Well, it usually down here, to be honest. Jim, thank you. I'll, uh, Alex to thank for the album artwork. Thanks, Walter. I appreciate that. Is that signal any better than my Wi-Fi shite? Geneva, I'm at the bottom of the garden. I've tried everything. I had an Ethernet cable running, and, you know, it got eaten by rodents. Better already. Uh, I should have gone. I should have gone four G from the top wall. And that. Well, that was actually quite a quick sixteen minutes. You see, sixteen minutes. Oh, granted, the first four was spent charging my glass. So, requiescent in pace, Latin, next one, which is, I saw it on a tombstone on a walk, it's, it's when two people get buried, it's at R.I.P., rest in peace, but it's when two get buried together, it's the plural. So we're only six minutes away and we've finished the album, we're there, nine o'clock, get in, that's passed quite quickly, wow. I 
ambient gear, you know. I always liked an album that kind of coasted to a coasted to a halt, you know what I mean? Russ, we're up to track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, brother. Whoa, fuck, mate, getting carried away with it. Sorry, swearing. Sorry, Delph. Slash Robert Fripp Slash Dino Obviously Better not. Should I Maybe I should start again Should I start the album on 4 Should you start again If it's been so shit on Wi-Fi No Robotic Busker Has had a title change brother It's now Shaman de Fair and it's on the next album. I mean, I, I hate the fact that people get dropouts, man. It's, it's piss poor. Uh, what we've got now? Uh, from roots to fruits. Oh, Dino, you've got to get this. Man, Ikea lean back action. You've got to. It's, I can't work without it, man. I can't work it. I'll show you my working position. It's like, bang, legs back. They're up there. The legs are up. I'll show you it. That's me. There you go. A bit of mouse, a bit of mouse action there. That's me. You can't do that on your standard straight back office chair. Don't bother getting one for a studio. A studio. A studio. 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 One or the other. Monty Dunn was green fingered. <laughs> Good old Monty and his green fingers. So I should start again. Should I start again? I mean, it's only nine o'clock on a Friday night. There's people joining us. Right, not a dropout since I switched to 4G. Interesting. Right, cheers, Walter. Thank you for the technical updates, brother. I'm nearing the decision to just run it again. Run it again. Just, you know, I'll play it and we can just chat. All 
right, so here we go. Second to last one. That was, this is the last one. All the rivers that rise in these hills. Oh, get the hankies out. So everybody who's been, you know, lovely enough to watch. Italian vibe, good call, Dale. I, I, I'm all over that anyway. It's definitely in my DNA. So that was it. That was the album. That was it. Sweet Jesus. I'm going a bit low there. That was Sweet Jesus in its uh, in its entirety, all 73 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go back at the top. Um, Yeah, all right, let's go again. Can I tell you another story about this one, actually? I, I was I was just watching, well, I, was, I was just sat down with my guitar somewhere, and uh, I come up with this, and I, can't, I seriously can't work out this riff, right? Uh, because recorded it on my phone, I put my phone, I, put, I thought I wonder if you, if you just stick your phone on, on the body of the guitar, I wonder what it'll record like, you know, on, on just the speech recorded, so I slapped it on the guitar and recorded it and it was like not bad, stuck it in the machine, had to do a little bit of kind of nipping and tucking and stretching, but when it comes to like playing over the top, no idea what I played, but you know, a bit of slide decoration over the top, it's all by, it's all by ear. When my when second born heard this, he said, that's farmer's music. Thanks, Eddie.
got to the comment. Finally got to the comments, because I'm on 4G, I'm not killing the signal, yes! Just downloaded the album, God bless you Brent, thank you sir. Yes. I'm in, there you go, comments. Great. Any Ripperton is such a good call, yes. It's all over this. Le Flee! More French, see how fluent I am. Rush, you didn't need to buy it. Dean, what that chair of yours, what? up with us from the previous turn around. Show for the cameo next.
G then? Any dropouts at all? Sorry, I'm just scrolling through the comments. talking about the tunes anymore I'll just leave them running in the background they're just there aren't they Lance Prasado it's the man it's the man that comes to the pub oh lady comes to the pub without any money never pays Lance Prasado apparently Oh, all right, 
right, cuz? Hopefully everybody's getting a decent feed now. I've gone from, uh, for those that have resigned, Adam and Danny, uh, we're going round again on 4G because Wi-Fi was dropping out like, uh, uh, some of the drops out a lot. Like, uh, like a rebel without a clue. So, um, we're going round again, hopefully on a better connection. And no swearing. Oh, can I swear, Adam? Yeah. Has Delph gone to bed yet? It's 25 past now. Anyway, I'm off to get me. like a sailor. Sorry. <laughs> Lovely. No, I, I thought I should get another drink, man. I'll just turn into some, like, gibbering mess. How many have got? 25. All the time, it's like, you know when you can never let go of a dance floor? There's like three people dancing and you're like, that's enough. I'm going to carry on playing records. Happened to me a lot, believe me. You're like, that's enough for a party. I'm staying on. So, all the time people are watching this, it's going to be hard to terminate. But I will when it's 10. Oh, oh, we can, what are we at now? Yeah, about a third of, another two thirds of it, and then. <laughs> I, I was gonna. I was thinking of doing a bit of steady cam to the compost ad. A bit of steady cam to the composting bin. Again, for people who've never been to this fair establishment, um, there's a compost bin round the back, which we agitate with with urine. Uh, it's great for it. It makes it a real good mix. It's pungent. But I'm not going to be filming back there, Adam. No. So we're on to uh, feline plastic. Which was something I heard on radio about two weeks ago, and it was on about just the way that somebody. I thought plastic. I feel like it's a ballet term, apparently. Feline plastic. It'll be French again. It's <laughs> there's a there's a French thing in this album. Unintentional. Put in the lab this spring. Create something new. I don't know what that means, Geneva. I'm off to get another drink. Uh, I'm going to turn that up. Feline plastic. Thank you. 
it. friend of mine because I knew this had happened nail I honestly mate nobody's had a copy I ain't sent it to a soul right it was I just wanted everybody to hear it at eight o'clock on Friday it's like bang that's it a tsunami of first listens and that'd create some thing you know or you know uh, so but I had to just ignore all the good people that have been in my corner for the longest time and I apologize for that so you will be getting your link tomorrow sir too sweet, I promise. I can't not throw in a few dance moves, aren't you? Because I've had five gins. Stone Cold Sober. Glockenspiel. Spiel. So this is um, an another song. Scattered to the four winds. I'll get up at the end of this one. It's not really a dance number, really. 
it's not a sitar, it was just a thin guitar that Geneva, just a reedy. There we go. Oscar. The groom stripped bare by his suitor. Jim, I've never had anything by him, so I want no chief. Mogwai, I was, I, I don't know about Jefferson Starship, but it's more like, you know, Mogadon. Mogadon Mogwai, but interfacing with a bit of a Latin kind of double time thing at the end for shits and giggles. as well. Brushes on the kit. Dave Navarro, who's he? Surfing. Surfing Northern California, 73, while aliens hover. Perfect review. Fucking love it. files, all very theme music. That's a proper ending that, isn't it? They're all your favourites, Russ. You can't, they can't all be your favourites, brother. God bless you for your support. Uh, so that was that one. I forgot the name. Groom Strip Bear. Yeah, The Unvarnished Truth next. There we go. Super quiet sections, so I mean, I can turn it right up, but it'll blow the speakers when it does the loud bits. Liking all the comments.
how many you can get in a mini. 21 in the shed here, do you think? Get 21 in, Adam. Yeah, you could, I reckon. It's, you know. Sorry. Because he... <laughs> Welcome, Leon. Welcome, Russell. The Shadow Records 5, I think. No, 6, Adam. 6. Uh, just, you know, in an ante room at a party situation. I think you were one of them, actually. Me, you, Eddie, Johnny Miller, Paddy. Yeah, 6. There, yeah, that's it. That's fucking hell. It was when you was with us, Adam. That's when the most was in. Muppets was that, yeah. Hi hey, Kevin, all right Jason. Welcome to the Shedio Session. It's five gins in, two pipes. Buy the album, links there, if you there somewhere. Pinned, it's pinned apparently. Surfers, man. Yeah, I need to get into the surfers. They don't know about me. The best producer you've never heard of. Hashtag. Oh, Fader. Proper smashy, nicey Fader shit, man. Hashtag! to get it over and done with, right? That's long, that, man. I'll trim that. Two of the words. We're there again. Alex is back. Alex, Alex, the photographer, the sleeve, the sleeve, everybody who's congratulated us on the sleeve has Alex Hyde to thank. I, I should, I don't know how you tag you, Alex, but there you go. She's the one who did it. Making the t shirts. Yeah, I can't really 
a big light of this, it's quite a reflection. Thanks, Deck, appreciate it. God bless you, sir. Who else is but Craig? Thank you, brother. Big fan in Alex's work there, Jim. Pip Jones. Sheffield Massive. Have a listen, Pip, see what you think. Cast an engineer's ear over it, won't ya? Good evening, Darren. Thanks for joining us. We're just enjoying the first listen of the new album that nobody knew I was putting out until 8 o'clock tonight. Intentionally so. That's how I want to move forward. Oh, we've got a rasping bass. The Oxford Synthesizer Company to thank for that. God bless you, Pip. <laughs> Alex has already seen the signs and trades. Alex, this is your, this is the big break. This is your get rich quick scheme. Forget the keep fit business. Making people beautiful. trips to the post office, no more sorting out with graphic artists, manufacturing, it's just a ball ache. And I just thought, you know, I want to just make music, I want to do the thing that makes me happy. I don't really want to do all this other shit about getting your stuff to market. It's like, I want to make music, I don't want to sell it. I've got it to make a living, but it's not, I hate doing it. So anything that kind of allows me to do more music and do less commercial I wouldn't mind, I don't even make any music. It's like it's not like you make a lot of money out of releasing physical stuff. You're just about break even. If you're lucky, I've got lofts weighed down with vinyl. Uh, so it's the end of it. It's the end of it for me. You know, it was a dalliance. You know, if it does happen, it's through it's through third parties. It's if if it, if it's if Bandcamp do crowdfunding on the vinyl, great, you know, they, they, all the fulfilments elsewhere, I don't have to do anything, you know, maybe just deliver a bit of artwork, even delivering the artwork, you're like, oh man, God bless him, you know, I mean, I've worked with Ian at Designers for the longest time, but it's just, it's just another ball ache that you just, you think, oh really? And now this, there's just the ease of just putting 12 songs out with one avatar, and it's like, off you go. Next one will be in a couple of months. Not a year. <sighs> it don't feel more personal, no, it just feels easier. Say hello to Ruth for me, Russ. Thank you. Sorry, brother. As I'm looking at one screen, I'm missing all the messages on the other. I'll turn the music up. Could be six, Diogo. I think Grant said there was four. Yeah, I think it is. They're not that strong. Look. I'm 
compass. Thank you. 
Truer than words, that one. Like I say, it was a, a bit of an homage to our old bud and uh, Bill Nelson, who still is, anyway. Um, and then you got three little acoustic things finishing the album off. Re Requiescent in Pace, which is Latin. Great humble show. Cheers, Jim. Thanks, brother. Uh, which is like a David Sylvian. Gone to Earth kind of thing. Happy accident, I just got that loop. I was like, oh, that's nice. I was trying to do something else. And uh, I sacked it and just like looped that off, and it was like, that'll do. Yeah, I'll have a bit of that. And then built up across the top of it, you know, with the uh, ethereal gear.
we're just uh, finally drawing to a close of the uh, epic listening session of the new album. Um, thanks to everybody who had a listen. No collaborations coming up except for the one with uh, Dennis Bavel, um, which I'm working on. No more Chiba, right? Yeah, my mate Andy Dimmock's out with them at the moment. Checking as they say. And then from Roots to Fruits, the penultimate track. The penultimate track that you can buy in the Bandcamp link, the, uh, uh, link, link? the Bandcamp link that I've pinned in this thread. And I shall be uh, hammering over the weekend. Jim Evans, God bless you, sir. Only six pounds, Jim. to fade. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and aim at the mushroom surf market Dale. Intended to listen to it once. And here we are, final track, All the Rivers That Rise in These Hills, which was a quote that I got out of um, a brilliant book called Waterlog, which is about um, the guy that started Friends of the Earth. Is it Fred Deakin? That's Lemon Jelly, isn't it? Might be the same guy. Anyway, his book's fantastic. Uh, he he kind of does a bit Lancaster in the swimmer vibe, where he swims, does an open water swim across. Uh, across the UK and, and he's, he's actually in Yorkshire when he came out with that line about all the rivers that rise in these hills do excuse my indigestion it's all those gins right so anyway this is the last track thanks everybody for listening hope you liked it enough to buy it
Danielle, you came in right at the end of the party, babes. That's us done. I'm not going through it again. <laughs> God bless you, Danielle. Cheers, Dal. See you soon, hopefully. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Um, a first for me. Um, hopefully, you know, not the last. Uh, it, it, in a new way of delivering me tunage. <laughs> Danielle, it's all right, babes. I, do you know what? I think next time I'll possibly start it later. The next time I'll do an album. Thanks, Neil. Uh, thanks for staying with us, man. Appreciate that. I enjoyed it. I managed to stay just, just the right side of... Well, no, not sober, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a stranger to sobriety, but, uh, yeah, not too bad. Thanks for staying, Geneva. Thanks, Lee. God bless you, brother. Adam... Looking forward to seeing you soon, brother. Same time. <laughs> I could, though. Do you know what I mean? I'm honest to God. It was like, it was Adam, it was when you shared that Mike Rebelay uh, clip. I was like, you know, you can't, it is, it isn't that hard to make music, right, if you've been doing it all your life, because it's like anything that you've practised, right? So I can, I can kind of knock out a tune a day. But because of the constraints of commercial, like, malls or whatever, or the way that you're expected to kind of deliver your stuff to market, you, you have to kind of bottleneck it. And I don't want to. I want to. I, I do want to. I, I would love to see you all this time next week. I'd love to have a music party every week. I would. Well, every month, maybe. Maybe every week. Asking a bit too much, but... Thanks, Ad. Cheers, Walter. Thanks for staying with us, brother. Look at me. I'm like a fucking TV presenter. Cheers, Jim. Thanks for staying, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brent. Russ, always, you know, Tim, thank you, man. You have a lovely weekend, everybody, what's left of it. Cheers, Pip. I'm going to sign off, otherwise I'll be like this all night. Come on. Love you all. Rock forth. To all my brethren, love to your families. I'll see you all soon. Thanks, everybody, for staying with us. Appreciate it. See you later. He said, not knowing.